find the resultant of a and b using the law of sines and cosines. The first thing you want to do is put a and b head to tail. So if we start with a, I have 10 newtons up, and then I'm going to have 15 newtons down. The resultant connects head to tail. So that's what we're looking for. To use the law of cosines, you need to know what the angle is between the two vectors. Well, since A is vertical and B is at 45 degrees to the vertical, this is 45 degrees. So the magnitude of R, using the law of cosines, is the square root of 10 squared plus 15 squared, thus the magnitude of A and B, minus 2 times 10 times 15 times the cosine of the angle in between them, which in this case is 45. So if you pull out your calculator and multiply that all out, this is 10.624 newtons. Now, to be able to give r, I need not only the magnitude of r, but also the direction of r. So I need to find some other angle. So, for example, let's say I'm looking for this angle right here. We can use the law of sines to do that. Specifically, the magnitude of r over its opposite angle, sine of 45, will be every other angle, say 15, over the sine of what we're looking for. So, in this case, if we call this angle phi, we can find out what phi is. If you plug this into your calculator, you get phi is 87.7. 87.727, which is not correct. Why is this not correct? Well, is this angle going to be bigger than 90 degrees or smaller than 90 degrees? Think about it for a minute. If you have a triangle that looks like this with 10, make it bigger, 15, and 10.624 is the angle opposite the bigger side, so this one has to be the biggest, this is the biggest, but this has to be bigger than this one. The angle opposite 10.6 has to be op bigger than the angle opposite 10. So angle 2 has to be bigger than angle 3. So in, if phi were 86.727 degrees, then the other angle would be smaller. We know that two, angle 2 is opposite, a bigger side than angle 3. Angle 2 has to be bigger than angle 3. But if angle 1 is 86.727 and angle 2 is 45, then angle 3 has to be 48. This is a problem. This harkens back to what you have if you have an actual sine curve. Think about the graph of sine. It's multi-valued. So there are going to be a bunch of places where the arc sine of your angle is equal to your value of 0.99836 that comes from here. In point of fact, one of them is 86.727 degrees, but another one of them is going to be 90 on the other side of 90 degrees from that. So we can find 90 minus 86.727 gives us the distance between here and here. We can go that same distance on the other side to get another value, another possible value for phi. The other possible value for sine of phi gives you 93.273 degrees. That's the value that we want. This is the value that makes this triangle work out. So when you're answering the question, the magnitude of R is 10.6 newtons, and the angle is 93.3 degrees from the vertical.